wonderful people how are you guys doing today hope you guys are doing perfectly fine if this is the first time i'm seeing my face hi you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is Etiosa. if you know that you haven't subscribed yet please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below and if you do don't forget to turn on your notification button so you will be notified whenever i'll be uploading a new video for my returning subscribers thank you guys so much for tuning in today you guys know that i love you guys and i cherish you guys so much so guys in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to make sugar coffee scrub okay this scrub is quite different from the normal regular video that i have been posting about sugar scrub okay so this particular one brightens it doesn't lighten it doesn't whiten okay it brightens the skin okay unlike the previous one that i have i have made before those ones are just basically just a glow and treatment scrub okay this one is going to glow your skin it's going to uh, brighten your skin and also is good for stretch mark it's good for green vein very very good for green vein it's good for dark spots it's good for wrinkles anybody can use this okay anybody can use this it's not a harsh approach a harsh uh, scrub it's very very simple you can use it for the face that's how mild it is you can use it for the face it's good for dark spots. if you are the type that have pimple you have hyperpigmentation you have um what's it called um dark spots this particular scrub is going to help you okay it's going to help you you can actually make this at home with a very low budget okay it's not really that expensive though but it's very very good okay so this is one of my remedy this is one of the things i use sugar scrub okay it's so so nice it's very very nice no matter how how old or how young you are okay you can use this scrub all right it's very very good if you have wrinkles it's good for it so this scrub is a treatment scrub actually is meant to treat your skin and at the same time glow your skin and brighten your skin so if you are the type that need a lightning scrub or a whitening scrub please this is not the video for you this particular one is just different okay but the scrub is very very nice all right so without further ado let me take you guys to my workstation please do not forget to subscribe that is very very important so guys, uh, first thing I'm going to do is to spray my missing bowl with alcohol, then I'll wipe it with paper towel. Though I've already done that before, but I left it for like a few minutes, so just to be sure that there's no gems in my missing bowl. So I'm just going to wipe it with paper towel. So then when making this, or while making this, I'll be explaining all the ingredients that I'll be using, okay? So now first thing that we need um, in making our sugar coffee scrub is a brown sugar okay uh some people use white sugar some use brown sugar but i'll tell you that brown sugar is better okay so it contains vitamin a and it's very very good it's quite uh kind of gentle okay rather than using white sugar brown sugar is more gentle than white sugar so this is 500 gram would make use of two which is um um 1000 gram all right so if you want to make use of white sugar if that's what you have available you can always use it not like it's bad it's also good okay i've used that before and there's nothing wrong about it okay so i'm just going to be pouring in my brown sugar so i'll be adding in the second one So this is 1000 gram of brown sugar so now next thing i'm going to do is to um add in my my coffee okay so let me get my so guys this is 118 gram of coffee so i'll be adding more okay these are all all the scroll uh, the coffee i have left so i'm going to use my hand to um pieces it okay just to uh, grate it a little bit to have that um chunky texture okay so if you leave it like that it's just going to be too too um big i don't know how to explain it but i 
I guess you guys understand what I mean, all right? So I'm just going to do the same thing. And then after that, I'll use my hand to, to mix this together. If you have more coffee at home, you can actually make use of uh, um, 200 uh, gram of your coffee, okay? This bowl looks small. I don't know if I should get a bigger bowl. So now that I'm done adding in my brown sugar and my coffee, so I'm going to add in my botanicals powder. So before then, I had to transfer this to a bigger bowl. Okay, I don't want to make a mess. So for my botanicals powder, I'll be making use of cinnamon powder. You can make use of two. But I'll prefer you using that cinnamon powder or sandalwood powder. Oh, I think it's better. So this is like um, two tablespoon and half um, tablespoon of um, cinnamon powder. Then I'm going to stir this together. And uh, another thing I'm going to add in is my sulfur uh, powder. Okay. So I'll be adding in a tablespoon of my sulfur powder. Okay. So this is a tablespoon of sulfur powder. So this sulfur powder is very very good for ratchets okay it's good for ratchets good for eczema and then another thing i'm going to add in is my miracle powder so this is very very essential all right miracle powder is good for bones it's good for dark spots it's good for pimple it's good for black knuckle brown patches stretch mark after shave it's very very good for a lot of things okay so i'm going to be using two uh, of my miracle powder so i think this one this is blocked already see this is just what we go through when we whenever we buy this miracle powder either it's blocked or something so can you see so what i need to do now is to use um warm water to dissolve this okay i'm going to use warm water to dissolve it and then let me check the second one okay this one is good so I'm going to be adding in everything so i'm just going to pause this video and dissolve this then i'll come back so guys i'm done um melting my my miracle powder please do not use too much water on a norm so i'm not supposed to put water inside this scrub but fortunately you need to use a uh, miracle powder okay so uh now the next thing i'm going to add in is my honey okay so this is 80, 83 mil okay so i'm just going to add in bit by bit because honey is going to be our dissolver it's going to be like what, what we'll be using to mix this so i'm going to add this in bit by bit this does not really have a particular measurement but i'm just going to make sure that i make sure that i get uh the type of consistency that i want okay so i don't want this scrub to be too light nor too thick Okay, I just want it to be very, very okay. So, don't forget, we still have some serums that we're going to add into this. So, I'll just stop here and then I'll be back. So, guys, next thing I'm going to add in is my turmeric oil. So, guys, turmeric oil is very, very expensive, right? So, if you want to... Make a very good scrub, add in turmeric powder, turmeric um oil instead of turmeric powder is very very good. Very good. So uh next thing I'm going to add in now is my um shinic perfect leg. Okay, shinic perfect leg is good for um is good for green vein, stretch mark, blue vein, verticals vein, redness, and spots. Okay, is very very good for a lot of things. So I'm going to be adding in two tablespoons of my um, shining perfect leg, okay? So another thing I'll be adding in is our bell eclat 
can i call this is for green vein and stretch mark this is a very good product for green vein if you are the type that have green vein on your body all you need to do is just to get this bell air clot with um perfect leg and rescue oil okay or hydra oil just mix it together and apply it on that area where you have your um your green vein is going to help you okay to have more effectiveness you can naturally add in just a pinch of miracle powder you will not regret it guys so i'll be adding in one tablespoon of that so another thing that i'll be adding in now is my rescue um oil so don't forget that i said that this is a treatment scrub it's meant to treat your skin and also glow your skin very well okay so i'll be adding in just one tablespoon of my rescue oil that's enough so another thing that i'll be adding in is my olive oil okay this is going to serve as moisture okay you can actually use um what's it called uh, um, coconut oil instead of olive oil so in which whichever you have available you can as well just make use of it so i'll be adding in two tablespoons of my olive oil and then next thing i'll be adding in is my lactic acid so i'll be adding in one tablespoon of lactic acid so another thing that i'll be adding in is my glycolic acid so i'll be adding in one tablespoon oh oh that's more than one tablespoon but it's okay and then i'll be adding in propylene glycol one tablespoon or two tablespoon so this is going to serve as a penetration it's going to make the scrub penetrate very well into your skin okay so now that we are done adding in all the treatments the moisturizer oils and um honey so i'm going to add in just one whitening oil which is a glutathione comprime super fort okay so i'll be adding in two tablespoons of this turmeric oil is actually a lightening oil as well okay so i'll be adding this in just um a tablespoon or two tablespoon okay so i'll be adding in two tablespoon so now we are done so last thing that i'll be adding in is preservative so i'm not supposed to add in preservative into this scrub but because of the water i use in dissolving the miracle powder i just need to protect this scrub all right so i'll just be adding in just a little let's say a teaspoon of uh, my preservative and then another thing that i'll be adding in is my tea tree essential oil i'll be adding in just a few drops of tea tree essential oil okay let's say 10 drop of your tea tree essential oil and next thing i'm going to do is to stir this very well okay so now when you are done stirring and you feel like the consistency is still very thick all you need to do is to add in honey okay you can add in honey and a little bit of your coconut oil or your olive oil I like using my hand i might end up using my hand in missing this so, so that i can feel the consistency though it's still very thick so i'm going to add in my remaining honey i don't have much at home but i just hope that this will be enough for me so guys i'm going to take like some few minutes off camera to make sure that i drain this out very well okay so see you guys so guys um i'm done missing my um, brown sugar and i discovered that the texture is still very very thick and this is what i want to do so this is my shea butter all right so here is my shea butter i'm just going to be scooping out uh, a little okay and then i will have to use double boiler to melt it and add it into it okay so guys please keep on watching this video because i'm going to explain how you can use the scrub okay it's not like a normal regular scrub that you can just use in the wrist off this is different this is a treatment um 
um, scrub in order to make this thing work very well you have to be very patient not just patient you have to be consistent and as well you have to do the necessary things to make this work perfectly okay so what i need to do now is to um double boil this and allow it to melt very well okay so i'm going to add in a little bit of olive oil let's say two tablespoons of olive oil then i'll double boil it and i'll be right back so guys um i'm done making the shea butter so i'm going to add it in okay and there's something i need to show you guys I added in this uh, a tablespoon of this af uh, afar abutin. Okay, I added in a tablespoon of it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stir. So now guys, how to use this scrub eh? when you apply this scrub to your skin, just know that you're done with whatever you need to do because it's going to take a little time. So when you're done applying it or when you're done scrubbing your skin, you're going to leave it on your skin for like 30 to 45 minutes. Okay. I know <laughs> it takes time, but you worth it because of the ingredient that i added into it you have to let it stick to your skin properly to perform the work okay you have to allow it to work perfectly on your skin all right it's very very important because if you use this to scrub your skin and you waste it off immediately or you leave it for like 10 minutes be rest assured that you're going to waste it okay highest 30 minutes or maximum leave it on your skin for 30 minutes and after that you cannot waste it off you can use this for your face your body and you can use it for your kiss as well okay this is not a whitening scrub at all it's just a maintenance scrub but this is going to brighten your skin because of the alpha abutin and the glutathione comp prime um serum that i added into it but i didn't add too much i just added in a little bit okay so it's going to perform a very good job on your skin okay if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and do not forget to comment thank you guys for watching see you guys in my next video bye